Okay, this is the telescope video. Okay, this is a Galilean telescope. It has an objective lens here and an ocular eyepiece here. This is a positive lens. This is a negative lens. These were the first telescopes. They were made out of spectacles. Hans Lippinary probably invented it, or maybe Spinoza, or maybe several other people. It was in the people have been making eyeglasses since the 1300s, and they made eyeglasses with positive and negative lenses depending upon whether the person was um, nearsighted or farsighted. Sometime around 1608 to 1610. Somebody took two eyepieces and put them in a tube and realized they had a telescope. We do not exactly know who. Okay? But the first one was a positive lens and a negative lens. Okay? The telescope that we're building is the Keplerian telescope, which came just a few years later. When you open up your box, it has two tubes. Okay? Okay? For the Keplerian telescope, not the Galilean telescope, although Galilean telescope would also have two tubes. And they slide into each other. And you can adjust the distance between them. And there will be an objective lens on here which goes towards the object and an eyepiece lens that goes towards the eye or the ocular here. So here will be the, this is the ocular lens, this which is also the eyepiece lens, and it goes next to your eye. Alright? When you assemble it. Now, in this type of telescope, the eyepiece will be made by thing to hold the lens and the lens itself. This is a Plano, flat-sided, Plano convex lens. But it's the convex part that matters. The plane is just so. You can stick it. It doesn't matter which way you stick it, but you can make it work either way. But you stick it in there so that it fits into there. Right? And this is the ocular or the eyepiece lens, it goes into the tube. And then your eyeball, your eyeball goes into here. Now, you've got to have an objective lens. The objective lens is the big flat one. And it has a very long focal length. It looks almost flat, but it is not. It does magnify. So I now see a big Rupert. Okay, now, this is the holder of the objective lens. I put this in to reduce the edge of the lens, creating, okay, I make the lens slightly smaller because the rays that come through the center are going to be in focus. The rays that don't come to the center are going to be off axis and not in focus. So that's why we reduce the objective in this type of telescope from two inches to one inch. That gives us, that makes a telescope. It also cuts down on the light, makes it harder to see things. But all telescopes have compromises. So this is the objective lens in the telescope. And it has the big foul flat lens in it. I'll put that on the end. And I put that into here. And now I've assembled the telescope. The way that I make sure the telescope is really working, I look in it backwards. And now I see the cameraman very far away. And in focus, I can adjust the things here. When I go outside, I look at something like a stop sign, and I adjust this so that the stop sign looks upside down and backwards. Uh, both these types of telescopes invert images, but in the sky it doesn't really matter. 
So the when it, the focal lens, when the focal, when the focus of the objective lens matches the focus of the ocular when they come together, right, which I determine experimentally by looking outside and getting it to work, right, then I, it will be in focus. And you'll have to adjust this a little bit depending upon how far away the object is. Okay? Since most of the objects relative to these focal lengths will be at infinity, relative to the F well relative relative to F subjective and F ocular, then it'll be that far away. So the magnification of the telescope will be given by the focal length of the objective over the focal length of the ocular. So if you decrease the focal length of the ocular, you'll get more magnification. And you magnify things more and more do you see absolutely everything of nothing. So if you get too much magnification, you don't see anything. So too much magnification is a bad thing. So now I have the telescope assembled with the eyepiece, and I put my eye to the objective there, and this is a Keplerian telescope because both of these lenses are positive convex lenses.